Au. Hello, 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 and welcome back to another week of workouts. If you are new here, my name is Katie. I am an asthma certified personal trainer, performance enhancement specialist, and corrective exercise specialist. I am also a body neutral personal trainer, which simply means my clients and I don't really focus on weight loss, weight gain, or aesthetics. We focus on other sustainable habit and behavior changes that may impact the way that we look, may not impact the way that we look, but what they definitely do is positively impact our overall health. And last but certainly not least, I'm also an elite level power lifter and I am in week three of this training phase. Week like, I don't know, it feels like a million of my off season. And I am running late today. So quick intro today, we're gonna go get after it. I have to squat a house. I'm hoping to squat 375, which will match my current PR hopefully to better depth and hopefully a little bit faster than it's ever moved before. So let's go see. Oh, and I'm gonna be benching a bench PR if I can hit 195. It's either 190 or 195. We're gonna see how it feels. Big day today. Here we go.
came to watch me squat today. She knew I needed the moral support. I hit my top squat single at 370, five pounds under my current PR, and I'm super happy with the speed. I'm running super late for therapy, so I had to cut some of my bench sets, and I did not get a chance to do my overhead press, but I will do that on a different training day. I'll just tack it on when I have some time. I will see y'all next time for day two. Bye! Good morning. It is training day two today. I am sleepy. I didn't sleep too well last night. My week is so busy, which is obviously so good, and I'm so thankful to be busy, but that leaves my windows for training far and few between this week. So I'm going to try and get this deadlift day in today. I'm supposed to be pulling like 390, 395. We'll see. That is... If I pull 395, that is seven pounds under my best deadlift. Bonkers. After that, I have to touch and go bench. I think so. And then I am taking out my belt squat. My hips have been so incredibly tight since starting this program. And I think it's that wide stance belt squat. So I'm going to take that out, just toss in like a Bulgarian split squat or something. And hopefully that'll feel a little bit better. And I'm also going to toss in my overhead press from yesterday into today's training day. I left all hanging yesterday. I was running late for therapy, so I had to run. I'm really happy with yesterday's training day. 370 was like a smidge higher than I would have liked it to be. So next week, I'm most likely going to take 370 again and just work on hitting absolute no question competition depth. But I'm super stoked about the speed. And now that I have the confidence and I know that it can move like that, I don't think I'll have any trouble sinking it next week. So anyway, I think that's everything. Let's go get after it. Here we go. I am so nervous. I have butterflies. I got butterflies again. I'm so scared. 395 is loaded up. Let's see what I can do. I'm also completely raw dogging it out here. I ran out of some tape. So this is hanging on by a thread. I forgot my pre-workout at home, so I have no water, no pre-workout, and I think that's about it. <laughs> I'm scared. Let's do it anyway.
Okay, I am very happy with how that moved. I'm happy that that moved at all, period. Like I said before, that's seven pounds under my best meat deadlift, so pretty happy about that. I'm definitely just gonna take that again next week because I'm supposed to be keeping these singles at like an RP8 and that was more like a nine. <laughs> so it's a little bit heavier than it was supposed to be, so I'll just stay there next week and clean it up a little bit. Now I have some back down work. I have to do three sets of four at, I don't know, um, 3.55. Okay, we'll see about that. Here we go. Ended up cutting one of my back down sets because my hips, oh my God, my hips. And it's actually kind of really going down into my knee now. So I'm gonna cut my last back down set and be fine with it. And then really just focus on recovery in the next coming days. See ya, bye. Now I have to touch and go bench. I'm working up to, last week I did 155, 155, 155, 155, 135. So let's try 155 again. See if I can get it for all of my sets. Here we go. My elbows hurt so bad. Cool. Here we go, 155. My elbows hurt so bad. If you're new to my channel, I have bilateral elbow tendonitis, so tendonitis in both my elbows. And it flares up mostly when I squat, and now I'm back to squatting, low bar squatting twice a week, and it hurts. But I'm not gonna be a little bitch. I'm just gonna complain about it. <laughs> Overall, I'm really happy with that training day. That took something from me. That was really tough, but I'm happy to head home. I'm happy that it's over, and I'll see y'all next time for day, oh my God, for day three. Bye. Hello, hello, and welcome back. It is training day three today, and it's also the heaviest day of my period. I have pause squats and my Swiss cambered bar bench day today. I want to take a second because tis the time of the month to talk about cycle syncing. The current science that we have does not allow us to make any kind of generalized claims for every single menstrual cycle. Basically what the science says is do what feels best for your body. And I personally have never really felt a need to completely transform my training based on my cycle. No, don't get me wrong. The cramps are cramping today. 
but I feel okay enough to push through. And this is also where RPE-based training can be super beneficial. Our bodies don't understand weight, they understand tension, okay? So what I mean by that is as long as you're staying in or around your prescribed RPE target, you're fine. Whether that's more weight than you did last week or less weight than you did last week, as long as you're still at that RPE target, that's all that really matters. So example, last week I did three, four, what did I do last week? 345 for my top single. It's supposed to be an RPE eight, okay? So if I work up today and I'm like, I feel like butt, all I have to do is find an RPE eight single, whatever that weight is, whether it's 355, whether it's 315. As long as it's an RPE eight, that's all the program calls for. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Anyway, let's go be a bad bitch. Let's dive into it. Here we go. Y'all remember like just a couple of weeks ago when I hit 355 for my regular top single? Because I remember that. That is bonkers. That's crazy. Now I have back down work. I have three sets of four. I'm gonna go 315. Last week I fucked this up and I did 325. That was way too heavy. I was thinking about my regular squat day, prescribed RP weight. And it was not right last week. So 315 here this week, here we go.
Okay, hello, hello, welcome back. Today is training day four for me. I have my pause deadlift and board press day, and I'm excited to get after it. Joe is here with me. He also has to pause deadlift and board press, so we get to do this whole day together. Here we go. with how that moved. That's what actually happens when I get aggressive off the floor and I stay patient. I am so stoked about that. Super happy with that. Now I gotta do back on work at 3.45. I just have a three by three. Here we go. <laughs>
that is all for this week's week of workouts. Thank you as always for hanging out with me. I currently feel like my body is being held together by tape and glue, to be honest with you. So I actually just got back from my monthly massage and Cairo appointment. I've been dealing with some left-sided sciatica and SI joint lumbar pain. I've been dealing with a little bit of shoulder pain, my elbows, all know my elbows, <laughs> and randomly I've been dealing with a little bit of thumb pain. So I'm really trying to focus on recovery for the rest of this week, sleeping well, eating well, hydrating, doing my massage in Cairo to hopefully get back into feeling like a human. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you guys next week. Bye!